As the weather gets colder, people often begin to face joint pain. So when is the right time to consider joint replacement surgery? Hassan Alash, Dr. Hassan Alash from Spectrum Health Medical Group's orthopedic surgery team is here with more information. Good morning to you. Good morning. You hear people complain about that all the time. They can tell that it's going to snow, that it's going to rain because their joints hurt. Exactly. So what exactly, exactly is joint replacement? So joint replacement is a restorative procedure for people with arthritic joints. The main goal is to relieve pain and improve function. And the term replacement is a little bit of a misnomer. Mm -hmm. I would say it's more of a resurfacing procedure. So in the native knee joint or the hip joint, there is a smooth lining on the joint called the cartilage. That's kind of the shiny end of a chicken bone. Yeah. And that allows the joint to glide smoothly and freely. In arthritis, whether it's wear and tear, whether it's after a certain trauma or with certain inflammatory conditions, that smooth lining, the cartilage, wears away. And so instead of having two smooth surfaces rubbing on each other, you end up having sandpaper rubbing on sandpaper. Ouch. That results in inflammation, swelling, and especially with pressure changes in the weather, people start noticing those changes more. Mm -hmm. So with a replacement, and I brought a knee model here just yeah. to kind of demonstrate, it's not that the entire knee gets replaced, the ligaments stay in place, the muscles stay in place. What gets resurfaced is that cartilage surface that is worn away. So that gets shaved off and you end up with a highly engineered cap on the thigh bone, highly engineered cap on the shin bone, and then a smooth bearing surface in between. So no longer do you have a rough surface, you're back to having a highly polished surface to bear weight on and function. Mm -hmm. And the good news is that joint replacement is extremely effective for people with arthritic joints. Mm -hmm. um, obviously there are more conservative measures that we take prior to advising joint replacement, but it's certainly a great option for those with arthritic joints who've tried everything else. I think you kind of alluded to one of the main reasons why a lot of people get this done, some of the benefits from it, the pain relief alone, right? Absolutely. So number one is pain improvement, and that's what I tell all of my patients. This is an operation predominantly when the pain gets in the way of doing your daily activities, is keeping you up at night, preventing you from doing the things that you love doing. Mm -hmm. That's the main goal of the operation, to get you back to doing what you love to do and living the rest of your life actively and yeah. uh, functioning well. The other side benefit, most of the time, people do notice increased range of motion, increased motion. Um, as a joint becomes more arthritic, the joint stiffens up and gets contracted. And so with a joint replacement, many times we're able to afford patients improved range of motion as well. And I know there are different types of joint replacements out there, but you um, specialize in just a couple of them? So predominantly hip and knee replacement, and I have partners in my group that replace essentially any joint in the body. Uh, hip and knee is probably the most commonly affected, but there's also shoulder replacements, elbow replacements, ankle replacements. Mm -hmm. Those are much less commonly affected. And then within our group, what's become a resurgence recently is partial knee replacements. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for example, this is another model here. The knee has three compartments, one under the kneecap, uh -huh. one on the inside, one on the inside here, and in some people, they just wear away on one part of the knee. Mm -hmm. And so why replace or resurface the entire knee when you can resurface only that affected compartment? And so for example, on this knee, we have two examples. We have a resurfacing underneath the kneecap here mm -hmm. for someone who has isolated kneecap arthritis. And we also have a resurfacing for someone who has arthritis right on the inside part of their knee. And the nice thing about this procedure is that the recovery is faster. Uh, most of my patients are staying in the hospital less than a day for that, that kind of procedure. That was one of my questions, yeah. 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 And, and even with, you know, with our advanced pain protocols and tissue preserving procedures and minimally evasive techniques, even for a total knee replacement, most patients are staying in the hospital about two days and going home. Mm -hmm. So there have definitely been many advances in recent years in terms of managing pain post-operatively, getting people mobilized more quickly, and gentler, less invasive techniques mm -hmm. towards joint replacement. So those that should consider this are the ones that are basically to the point where they've tried everything and the pain is just so debilitating, correct? Exactly. So I'll, I'll never start out by telling a patient, you have an arthritic joint, you need a joint replacement. So there's many modalities that we can exhaust before going to surgery. 
the toughest one, but perhaps the most useful one is weight loss. Mm -hmm. So for every pound that you lose, that's six pounds less that your knee has to see going upstairs. Yeah. So you can imagine losing 10 pounds is 60 pounds off your knee when yeah. it has to go upstairs. Wow. Anti-inflammatories, injections, and when those modalities have been exhausted and people say, you know what, I can't live with this anymore, then we start talking about operative procedures to correct it. Fantastic. All right. Great information. Oh, that it, hits, it hits home with a lot of people watching right now. Well, Spectrum Health Medical Group's orthopedic surgery is located at 4100 Lake Drive Southeast, Suite 300 in Grand Rapids. Give them a call at 616-267-8860. Find them online at shmg.org slash orthopedics.